What's up, guys? Hey, hello there. It's me, Sean Astrum. Sorry, guys, it's been a little while. I completely revamped the studio. I got a new standing desk. I got a new microphone. I put my computers in my closet. Things have been crazy over here at SA Studios. Uh, but today, I got a quick tip for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how we can link up Cinema 4D's amazing physical sky model with all the cool control that it gives you to Corona Renderer's sky model. It's going to be awesome. Let's check it out. Hey guys, so here we are in Cinema 4D. I have a car model that I set up using some um, Corona materials. A little bunch of shaders I built for this car model here. Turned out pretty cool. And what I want to show you guys today, because I had a question from a YouTuber asking me how I could link up or use Cinema 4D's built-in physical sky, which I'm going to bring in right here to control Corona Render's sky model. So first thing I got here is a ground plane. I'm just going to punch in a bunch of zeros here to get this guy to be very large. And then I'm going to double check my Corona settings here. I've got a resolution of 800 by 450. That should be fine. Um, but what we want to do is we want to bring in a Corona sky and a Corona sun object. And if I turn off the physical sky model and I fire up an IPR, here you can kind of see what we get. Uh, this is actually from the previous scene. Um, so that just refreshed there. And that's essentially what we get there. But with the Corona Sun, if you want to go in and change the positioning of everything, you have to go in here to the rotation. You have the angle of the sun, which you can adjust right here. And then, of course, you have the rotation of the sun. But that's about it. They don't really give you control of the time of day or all that. Um, but you can certainly calculate that stuff on your own. But I have a much easier solution here. And I'm going to stop this IPR here. And all we need to do is bring in a null object. We're going to call this sun link. And if we select our Cinema 4D physical sky, which is great because this physical sky model gives you a nice sort of preview in the, the viewport here. Um, if I go to the time and location, I can change the time of day. And you see in our viewport here, we're getting a nice preview. I can set this to uh, Denver, Colorado, which is where I'm located. Uh, I can also change the month. Let's go June. And let's just hit the Today button. There we go. So that's what the kind of control we want to get inside of Corona. And all we need to do to set this up, guys, it's super easy, is we need to select this physical sky, the Cinema 4D physical sky, go over here to the Sun tab, and then under the Custom Sun object, we're going to bring in this Sun link. And now that's created this null and put it in the position of the sun that this sky model is generating. So with that, all we need to do is select this null, right click on these, well, we want these two parameters here. So I'm gonna right click on the heading here. We're gonna go expressions, set driver, and then we're gonna go to Corona sun model, and we're going to go under coordinates here, under heading, we're gonna go expressions, set driven. And so that just linked up those two parameters going to go back to the sun link null here, right click on um, the pitch, we're going to go set driver, and then we're going to go back to the corona sun, right click expressions, set driven, and now those parameters are linked up. So now I can just use the physical sky here to control where the corona sun is going. So I'm going to turn those guys on in my viewport. And well, that doesn't really matter so much, but uh, now I can change the time of day. Let's fire up the IPR here, and let's see how this is looking here. This car model is fairly complex, so it takes a second to uh, load up there. But yeah, so now you can see that if I uh, move my sun around using the physical sky with the time of day and all that, you can see the Corona Sun is linking up properly. And that looks pretty great. So I might just do actually, let's do a sunrise situation here. Just get something 
kind of cool like this. Whip the camera around. And I might even throw in a quick camera here, do some wide angle action so we can see a little bit of the sun in there. That looks cool. So I'm going to stop the IPR and then I'm going to render to picture viewer. And we'll let that render a little bit here real quick. And then just to verify that this is in fact a perfect match to Cinema 4D's Physical Sky, we're going to do a quick test render with Cinema's Physical Sky. So I'm going to let this render for a whole uh, 17 seconds. Looks pretty clean to me. And now I'm just going to go over to my render settings here. and We're going to switch over to Physical. And I'm going to seem to have frozen up here a little bit. Okay, guys, so sorry about that. I had a little bit of a freeze when I switched over to Cinema's physical render. No big deal. Um, but so here is my Corona rendering that I just did. And in order to verify that this is, in fact, a perfect match with Cinema's built-in physical sky, I just uh, switched over to physical render here and... If we select the physical sky, what I actually need to do is unlink the custom sun object just temporarily. I'm going to hide Corona stuff here. We'll just do a quick render with a physical uh, render and uh, Cinema's built-in sky. And you can see now that here's Corona, here's physical sky, and the shadows are matched up perfectly, and it is a perfect link. Although, um, needless to say, I think I'm liking the corona sky a little bit better. Now we can always go into our post-processing and do some bloom and glare on that sun. And just like that, we have a beautiful rendering. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Uh, yeah, I'm back in action here at SA Studios. I'll be making a bunch more tutorials here soon. So keep an eye out for those and make sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel and all that jazz. We will see you guys later.